Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. I am Zooey Mama <laughs> and today you've probably already seen by the thumbnail that's why you've clicked on this video but we're doing the green frog. I don't know if it's got a specific name but it's the green frog that's in the warmer climates I think and the orange ones are obviously in the sort of the me medium sort of biome temperatures and then obviously we've got the white one which is in the Old, or is it the way around? I don't know. I get confused. But anyway, we've got all three. <laughs> Obviously, we made this the the orange dude a long, long time ago, um, before it was actually the frog was released into um, into the game. So this does need a little bit of updating now. I've seen the sort of textures on the the frogs. Um, but these two, I've actually made these today, and I've actually they've turned out pretty all right. Actually, I really like them. Um, I do prefer out the three on edging towards the green one. I like the most. But yeah, it, it's kind of close between the two. Um, but anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go on to the blocks and colours and build this baby. So the blocks and colours you'll need for this build are the following. 10 lime carpet, 14 green carpet, 56 lime concrete, 77 lime wool, 63 green wool, 29 green concrete, 12 smooth, sandst smooth sandstone, couldn't spit words out, 7 stripped birch wood, 5 stripped oak wood, two grey terracotta and two black concrete and that is the lot you'll need for today so let's get building just to let you know before we start building we will be using carpet for the toes only because there's no actual green half slab that we can use that's suitable for the frog um at least in my opinion anyway if you want to use a different green um half slab you can do but i'm going to be using carpet because i think it looks a lot better with the white frog and the orange frog i did actually use half slabs for this section okay so just bear that in mind when we're building this, okay? So if you're happy with the carpet, let's get on with it. So we're going to use lime carpet. To the right of that, a green carpet. Then we're going to go one, two backwards. And then from the middle block here, we're going to place another lime green, like that. From this lime green, leave one block gap. And then do another lime green, followed by another three green carpet. And then another lime green on the side like that. And you should have a little pattern like that so far. Now working on the left-hand side foot, we're going to get our green wool. And we're going to go one, two, three. And then to the left of that, do a lime concrete. And we're going to do that exactly the same on the opposite side. So get your green wool. We're going to go from here, one, two, three. And then to the right of that, we're going to do a lime concrete. Above this lime green concrete, we can use two lime green wool. And you can actually place two on the opposite side while we're here as well. And there we go. We're starting to build it up nicely so far. Now let's work on the sort of front of the face area. Okay, switching to your stripped birchwood on the left hand side. On this block here, we're going to place a stripped birchwood. Then to the right of that smooth sandstone, go one, two. Then we're going to pop in a stripped oak wood. Then another two smooth sandstone. Then another birchwood on the end. There we go. The next row up on the left hand side, we're actually going to go back to our smooth sandstone. We're going to kind of come up by two this time, go one, two. Then to the right of this, we're going to go a birchwood. Then another smooth sandstone another birch wood, and then a smooth sandstone, another birch wood, then another two smooth sandstone above like that. Switch to your stripped oak wood. We're going to just pop in one there and one on that side as well. Now switch to your green wool, and we're going to pop in three in the middle there. One, two, three. And while we've still got this in our hand, you could pop in one there and one on that side as well. Looks like he's smiling, a smiling frog at this point. Now switch to your green concrete and we're going to just put one on either end of the build there, one there and one there. Now switch to your lime concrete and we're going to pop in one on the right. Come up above this concrete we just placed, place one there and then one on the opposite side as well. And all we're going to do now is switch to our lime wall and we're going to just fill in all these gaps up to the same level. There we go, so you should have a pattern looking like that so far. So now we've done the front of the build, we're going to spin on around to the right hand side and work on the front of the leg, okay? So what we're going to do is switch to your green wall. I'm going to place green wall, followed by a green concrete. Above that is going to be a green wall. To the left, green con uh, lime green concrete. And then we're going to finish it off with some green uh, lime wall on top. There we go. So you should have a little square so far. Now we're going to switch to our green wall. And you want to spin on round to the back. And you can place an actual green wall there and come towards us by two. So one, two, and then you're going to pop in a green concrete. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. And then above that, you can actually place another green wall. And while we're on the dark greens at the minute, we're going to switch to our lime, uh, sorry, our green concrete again. 
and I want it to come diagonal from this block downwards, so diagonal, which is there. Okay, so that's going to be the sort of base of his back foot. And then we're going to come towards us by another one, and then followed by another green wall like that. And while we're here, we might as well carry on with this back leg. So, so far it's three wide, but it overhangs the side of the body by two blocks, if that makes sense. So the front leg is overhanging by one, the back is hang overhanging by two. Okay, while we're here, um, to the right hand side of this, we're gonna go lime concrete, followed by another um, a green wall, one, two, and then I want you to pop one up as well. Another lime concrete next to that, followed by some lime wall, we're gonna go one, two, and then do a row all the way across the top as well, so you should have like a rectangle looking like that. Now while we're here, we might as well switch to our toes, our carpet should I say, and to our toes. So we're gonna go with the lime carpet for now, and just next to this block here, you can place a lime carpet, then one diagonal to that, leave a space and place another one. And then all we're gonna do is switch to our green carpet and you're gonna go one, two, three, and then four like that, okay? That's his back foot. And then spin on, on the inside of his back leg, you can place a green wall there. Uh, and then on top of that is gonna be a lime wall. And then you can actually bring this line wall all the way to the back just to meet the back and we'll pick up a little bit later on there. But for the time being, that's the front and the back leg done. So let's carry on working on the side of the body. So we're gonna work in this gap here. So get your lime concrete. We're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna come up from there. Go one, two, three, four. Okay, and then from this block here, I want you to place another one as well. Now let's sort of connect this up. So this should now be in line with this green concrete. So you can place another green concrete and then followed by two green wool. There we go, it connects that nicely now. This little gap here, I want you to put a stripped birch wood followed by a oak wood next to that. That fills that in nicely. Now let's just work on the few blocks at the back here. So go back to a green wool and where we left off here, just above the leg, we're gonna do two green wool. Then we can switch to our lime wall and we're gonna go one, two, oh, two. Then another green lime green concrete followed by a, a lime wall on the end. And then come up, lime wall, lime wall, do another green concrete. And then we're gonna get lime wall all the way to the end, like so, and you should have a pattern looking like that. Now we're gonna work on the eye. So what you're gonna do is get your black concrete and from this corner block here, we're gonna place on one there. So it's diagonal, so one block in from the and the front of the build. Behind that is gonna be a lime concrete, followed by another wall. And then above this black, we're gonna do lime wall, lime wall, and then a lime concrete. And there we go, that's the side of the frog complete. So let's get back to the front and get some orientation and what's going on. Now we've kind of done the right hand side, let's work on the left hand side and it's very similar. Well, in fact, it's exactly the same, but obviously we're quite obscured here what we can see with the legs. So let's work on the leg section first. So let's see if you remember what we got to do here. So from the front of this leg here to the left of that is gonna be a green wool. Next to that is gonna be a green concrete, which I don't have because I used it for <laughs> eye earlier on. So there you go, green concrete. Then above that is gonna be a green wall. Switch to your lime green concrete, one there, and then we're gonna finish it off with another two lime wall across the top. The front of the foot is complete. Now switch to your green wall, and we're gonna spin on round to the inside. We're gonna place one just there, and then come towards us by two, followed by a green concrete on the end, and that's the start of the base of his body. And then above this is gonna be a green wall as well. Okay, looking like that. And if you remember what we did last time, we're gonna get our green concrete, go diagonal from this one and place one just on the floor there. But yeah, there you go, <laughs> that is right. I thought I placed it a bit further back, but yeah, diagonal from there. And then from this point, remember, we're gonna to come towards us by one and then followed by another green wall. Then while we're on the leg, we might as well carry on. So we're gonna do another green wall just there like that. And then on top of this, we're gonna go line wall, go one, two, three. And then from the, this side here, we're gonna do a lime wall. Go back to your green con green wall, sorry, go one, two, three, and then get another lime concrete just in there as well. And then top it off with some more lime wall. One, two, three, four, like that. There we go. While we're here, we're gonna do the toes. So get your lime con carpet out. And from this green wall here, we're gonna do lime. Diagonal from that is gonna be a lime. L skip a block, place a lime. And then switch back to your green con green concrete. It's not, it's green carpet, okay? <laughs> it's one, two, 
three, and then one there, and that's four. And there we go, that's the front and the leg, back and leg complete. Hope I didn't get too fast for you there. Give you a little panoramic view, okay? So now we've done the two feet, we're gonna work on the sort of abdomen area. So really what we could do now is we could have a little race. So if anyone's that are new around here, um, what me and my fellow subscribers like to do, we like to have a little race from time to time. So all we're gonna do now is literally this part of the frog, we're gonna copy onto this side of the build. So we're gonna carry on building from here, okay? So just an example, you're gonna get stripped birch wood there, and then next to that is gonna be your stripped oak wood, and so on and so forth, until we've finished this whole panel, okay? Um, if you do wanna race, then get ready. If you don't wanna race, just take your time, build this section, and we'll catch up in a second. Just not to confuse you, what I'm gonna do is just get some random block here, some random, you should use a diamond block, yeah, why not? We use a random diamond block. I'm just gonna put this here so you don't get confused and see what we've already built because that would be a little bit distracting, wouldn't it? So we're only building um, from that little section there that you can see, okay? So ready? In three, just make sure you're building from the right area, remember, from this block if you're building, ready, okay? <laughs> this is the most confusing build off I've ever done, right, okay? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. In three, two, one, Go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so anyone that's new around here, I don't rehearse these. This is me just doing it as fast as I can to try and beat you. So I don't like to do any rehearses, retakes, recuts or anything. I don't edit the video at this point. So you'll probably be able to hear my controller smashing around. And yeah, that's that's me trying to uh, trying to win because I do want to win. I really do. I don't like uh, I don't like losing. I'm not a sore loser, but I just don't like losing. Okay, <laughs> uh, and it's very nerve-wracking. I get really nervous doing this bit as well. Come on, um, just make sure you don't place the blocks in the wrong place in this because it's quite easy to uh, get this build confused because there's quite a few different angles. Um, I'm looking all right here at this point. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. How are you getting on? How are you getting on? Because I'm nearly done. So if you haven't got this far, I'll get a move on quick. Okay, that, that, that. Why? I'm done. I'm done. 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 Did you beat me? Did you not? Let me know in the comments if you beat me because um, that was tricky. I must admit that was very tricky today. I don't know why. I think it was all the different angles. Um, and I do use pick block as well. So if you're wondering why I can quickly get stuff out of my inventory like that or a diamond block, it's because I use a pick block um, on your controller. So you can do anyone can do that in the settings, right? So just bear that in mind. Um, and but yeah, I'm just checking. It looks exactly the same. So you should at this point have two sides of the head looking exact uh, two sides of the body looking exactly the same and it looks kind of derpy at the minute doesn't it look at that right while we're here i'm just gonna go back to the line wall because i've noticed on the top of the leg here we just need to fill this in so one two three line wall just to finish that top of that leg off okay and i'm just gonna get rid of these diamond blocks because they are a little bit distracting uh, get rid of them right okay they're gone so now we've done that, let's work on the eyes. So we've already got the blacks of the eyes already complete. So what we're gonna do is on the inside of both of those eyes, we're gonna do a gray terracotta. So one there, one there. And you might be thinking, why is there brown? If you do get really close to one of these frogs and have a look, it actually isn't all black. There is a brown um, variation there as well in his eye, okay? So I'm not going mad, trust me. Right, now going back to your smooth sandstone, you can actually pop one in either corner as well. And then on top of these two eyes, you just use some lime concrete, go bomb, 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 and there you go, the front of the eyes complete. Look at that, that looks so much better now. Okay, so now we've done the front of the eyes, let's go on the inside, spin on around, so from the back end of the build now, what we're gonna do is from this lime wall here, next to this, we're gonna go with our, um, oh, sorry, I've lost my block, some green wall next to that. Then we're gonna pop in some green concrete, and then we're gonna do another lime concrete next to that. And then what we're gonna do is get our, line wall we're going to do one two three like that so it's like a s shape now coming in and we're going to do the same on the other eye so we can use our line wall oh, we'll start from the bottom actually we'll go green wall and then we we'll do a green concrete so both eyes are exactly the same as right so and then get your um i keep losing what i'm doing lime concrete and then next to that is going to be all of our lime wall in there like that and then you should have two block gaps on the inside of the eyes you can actually just put some green concrete in there just to fill those in looking good and why not while we're here we might as well work on the top of the body it makes sense doesn't it right so we're going to use our green wool on the inside of the eyes remember we're going to go one block down and we're going to do green wool one two three 
switch to your green lime concrete and we're going to go one two and then to the left of this we're actually going to do a green wall again and to the right of that is going to be a green wall as well switch back to your lime concrete we're going to go one there one there and then come towards us by one as well then in the center we're going to do a green wall green wall to the right and to the left in the center there is going to be a green concrete then go back to your green wall again do a row one two three like that switch back to your lime concrete again we're going to pop in one on the left and one on the right and while that's still in the hand come up to this side and do the same there one in the left and one in the right hand side and the blocks that are left over you can actually just fill these in with some wool, uh, lime wool and there we go there's the back of the build done and while we're here we might as well drop on down and do the back of the frog so starting off from the center there we can get our green wool we're going to just pop in one there switch back to your lime concrete we're going to do one on the left and one on the right switch back to your lime wool again do one on the left one on the right to fill those gaps in then go back to your lime concrete do one in the left and one in the right and then in the center there it's going to be lime wool just to finish that section off then switch to your green wool and underneath this lime block not here underneath this lime block with your green wool we're going to go one two and then next we're going to do a green concrete followed by another two green wool again and then underneath this block again go back to your green concrete and do a row all the way to the other end so you should have something looking like that now go back up we're going to actually just finish off these back of the legs so get your lime concrete you're going to pop in one there and one on that side that fills those gaps in now we're going to drop down to the floor on the left hand side of the leg we're going to do a green wall followed by some green concrete and you can actually use green concrete just to fill those gaps in there above that is going to be a green wall and then a lime concrete just on that side as well and we're going to do the same on the right hand side of the leg so get your green concrete we're going to fill green concrete from the back there all the way towards us and then to the right is going to be a green wall above is going to be a green wall and then to the that last gap there is going to be a lime concrete and there you go my friends we have completed it it took a little while but um we got there in the end and sorry i went a bit loopy halfway through that video um it's a little bit confusing with all these greens but <laughs> nevertheless um i hope you enjoyed that tutorial make sure you stick around make sure you have subscribed if you already haven't because it really does help me out and i want to try and reach 10,000 subscribers this year so let's do it um anyway i've been Zoe mama and i'll see you in the next one bye